Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I have one of our favorite books called Railroad Hank, and it's all about a woman named Granny Bet, and she's feeling kind of blue. Do you ever feel blue? I sometimes do, but I know friends help make me feel better, just like Railroad Hank did in this book by Lisa Moser and illustrated by Benji Davies. It's Railroad Hank. Let's read it. Railroad Hank and his fine little train rolled down the track. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. Railroad Hank stopped at Happy Flat Farm to talk with Missy May. I'm headed up the mountain to see Granny Bet, said Railroad Hank. She's feeling kind of blue. A plate of scrambly eggs always perks me up, said Missy May. Take some of my eggs to Granny Bet. Railroad Hank rubbed his chin. Where do you get eggs? From a hen's, of course, said Missy May. Okie dokie, said Railroad Hank. <laughs> Wait, yelled Missy May. Take the eggs, not the hens. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. Railroad Hank stopped at Dandelion Dairy to talk with Country Carl. I'm headed up the mountain to see Granny Bet, said Railroad Hank. She's feeling kind of blue. A glass of creamy milk always makes me feel better, said Country Carl. Take some of my milk to Granny Bet. Railroad Hank rubbed his chin. Where do you get milk? From my cows, of course, said Country Carl. Okie dokie, said Railroad Hank. Wait, yelled Country Carl. Take the milk, not the cows. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. Railroad Hank stopped at Fish Jump Pond to talk with Reel em in Sam. I'm headed up the mountain to see Granny Bet, said Railroad Hank. She's feeling kind of blue. A sizzling pan of fresh fish always tickles my toes, said Reel em in Sam. Take some of my fish to Granny Bet. Railroad Hank rubbed his chin. Where do you get the fish? From a pond, of course, said Reel em in Sam. Okie dokie, said Railroad Hank. <laughs> Wait, yelled Reel em in Sam. Take the fish, not the pond. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Railroad Hank stopped at Applesauce Hill to talk with Cinnamon Cobbler. I'm headed up the mountain to see Granny Bet, said Railroad Hank. She's feeling kind of blue. A crunchy red apple always sweetens my day, said Cinnamon Cobbler. Take some of my apples to Granny Bet. Railroad Hank rubbed his chin. But where do you get apples? Well, from my trees, of course, said Cinnamon Cobbler. Okie dokie, said Railroad Hank. Way, yelled Cinnamon Cobbler. Take the apples, not the tree. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Railroad Hank chugged up and up the mountain to see Granny Bet. We heard you're feeling kind of blue and everyone sent something up to, up to help, said Railroad Hank. He threw open the train doors one by one. Chickens squawked, cows stamped, water slosh, and apples rolled. Granny Bet looked at all the chaos. She hooted and snorted and slapped her leg. She shook her until her bonnet slid sideways and her shoelaces popped. Granny Bet, cried Railroad Hank, are you still blue? Oh no, said Granny Bet, giggling. I'm right dandy. What fixed you? asked Railroad Hank. Was it the eggs or the milk or the fish or the apples? It was you, said Granny Bet, and all the friends you brought to visit. Now let's have a friend celebrating. Glad you came. I'm all better now. Kind of day. <laughs> Okie dokie, cheered Railroad Hank, and he threw his hat in the air. Woohoo! Look at that. Good time. As the sun set, Railroad Hank helped everyone find a seat on his fine little train. That was a wonderful surprise, said Granny Bet. Now I'm just going to sit and relax and dream about all the fun we had. Railroad Hank rubbed his chin. Where do you sit down and relax? On my porch swing, of course, said Granny Bet. Okie dokie. <laughs> there it is. Chugga, 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 woo, woo, woo. Now it's a party.
already changed. All right, I don't think Granny Bet can possibly feel blue anymore after all of that. And if you ever have a friend who's feeling blue, make sure you go and see them and bring them something special because that's bound to make them feel better. Thanks so much for reading with me, friends. If you like this story, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to read more with me, please subscribe so we can read more together. Thank you, friends. Bye.